hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss about a very basic yet very important question and that is how many troop types is it advisable to play so without wasting any time let's get started so when we start building our account there are different approaches which we can follow the very first one is called the one troop type or mono troop type the next one is two troop types and the third one is three troop types so now let's try to look at each one of them and try to figure out which one suits us more so let's start with the one troop type so what we actually mean by one troop type is that when we start building our account we decide that we will always play only one particular troop type and uh, because of that decision we are only focusing on the stats of that particular troop type so here let's assume that we are not playing a bow account so apart from that we have three options infantry cavalry and spearmen let's say if someone chooses to play cavalry so now his entire focus would be to improve his cavalry health attack and defense whereas he would not focus more on infantry and spearmen so just to take a simple example how one troop type actually looks like so here i have taken a report from a rally camp now here we can see that although we have used cabin formation we are sending only cavalry so this is what one troop type looks like uh, doesn't matter whether we are doing rebel camp or pvp or any other event so the next question which comes to our mind is how do we develop our account if we wish to play mono troop type or one troop type so let's talk about the badges first so as we can see here let's say for example we want to play only infantry type so in that case we have four badge slots available so for that we can use infantry attack infantry health infantry defense and infantry war badges now one thing to point out here is that it's always advisable to improve your badges as soon as possible and using the gold badges is obviously the best idea but let's say if you have two gold badges then better to use eight purple badges rather than using two gold and then six other low quality badges so eight purple badges would give more stats also now coming to the refinement part now since we are playing only one troop type we don't have to care about cavalry and spearmen we can get army size in the refinement which remains to be the most important thing i believe in terms of refinement and then we can have in attack in felt and in defense now here i have mentioned total attack as well usually total attack is more beneficial when we are playing two type or three type troops but even for one type i've seen some people use total attack because they try to get one inf attack which is 40% at max and then they also add 15% of total attack so that's 55% total attack in general from one slot of refinement but total attack is not very beneficial or effective for one type but surely it's not a very bad option and the last one enemy total attack reduction well it's debatable some people are playing attack reduction now many have stopped playing it does not actually give any stats to your own troops so it's more about more like debuffing the enemy troops so that's debatable but surely it can also be added in the refinement so some of the key factors for one troop type would be i think the best part about one troop type is that it's better for the beginners now when anyone is starting to build his account at that point of time it's always advisable to go for one troop type because that way we can concentrate more on one particular stats if we start working on all the three troop types let's say in cav and spear then we are not able to concentrate 100% so for beginners i believe one troop type it's always the best thing to do it's better to work on one particular type and then and take it to a decent level secondly if you are playing only one troop type then certainly our troops are more tanky and by tanky i mean they have more health and defense because in refinement we are focusing on only one particular troop type so we can also add infantry health and defense as we saw in the previous slide 
so because of that particular factor our troops are more tanky so they have they last kind of so they kind of last longer in the battlefield now a very big downside of playing one troop type is that it's highly vulnerable against the counter troop type now as we saw in the last slide that we are playing pure infantry account now what if we go up against a pure cavalry account now in that case we will not have many options if we go in without a scout or without knowing what the other person has then it would it could be a disaster and even if we know then let's say if you are doing pvp and you scout someone who is cavalry heavy who has lots of cavalry troops and you are just pure inf so now in that case you would not be able to hit him directly and even if you would i mean it would be a disastrous hit great damage would be taken by your troops so that is one downside of playing one troop type because that is quite rigid you are you are not having any options at all total attributes are also less effective as we discussed now total attributes are highly valued in the game but when you are playing one troop type then total attack is not that effective basically if you are given a choice between infantry attack or total attack then i believe infantry attack would be more beneficial because if we talk about it then total attributes are more flexible but they are less in terms of numbers so let's say if you get 40% infantry attack then on the other hand you are getting only 15% total attack so for one troop type that is another disadvantage that uh, total attacks or total attributes in general is not very effective now another downside which i would say is that it's not so great while defending because let's say you have 5 to 6 million troops in your castle ranging from t1 to t4 now definitely you cannot have all infantry for events like ac or siege of winterfell or any other alliance requirement you definitely would have cavalry and spearmen as well might also have some bows so what happens is when you lose your bubble or if someone tries to hit you then if your stats are more balanced then it's more efficient while defending but let's say you have 2 million of infantry and 2 million of cavalry and 2 million of spearmen now even if you set your formation to in front on the wall still after your 2 million infantry is died cavalry and spearmen will not be able to contribute enough so that's another difficulty which we face while playing one troop type okay so now let's talk about two type troops or two troops type so what we basically mean by two troop type is that we are using two different kind of troops here now in this example we can see that we have used cav in formation and we have actually sent cav and infantry troops so this is more flexible i believe as compared to the one troop type and most common i think more than 50 to 60 percent people must be playing two troops type i believe so how do we build a two troops account so now while setting up the badges let's carry forward the very first example which we had so in the one troops type we were playing pure inf now let's say we are playing in front line and then we are playing inf and cav so if we are playing infantry cavalry formation then definitely we will need health and defense for our front line so that is why we can have infantry health and infantry defense badges after that we can have infantry attack badges for sure front line and then we can also have cavalry attack badges which is our second line and we have an option of using infantry war badges because they give infantry defense as well as infantry attack now basically when we play two troops account we need to have a front line as bulky as possible and at the same time we want a second line to be very very destructive in a way because the target or the best approach is to be ensuring that your front line tanks the enemy and your second line lands a massive blow to the enemy at the same time we also need a front line to have great attack and now as we can see here that we have five badge options right now so i would recommend going in with in health badge first of all then in attack and cav attack and then the fourth one should be the war badge because war badge is giving 
little bit less defense but it's also giving you more infantry attack whereas if you go for infantry defense badges then that's just giving you defense more defense but attack would be missing similarly if we talk about refinement now few things won't change much like army size that's universal best then we can have infantry attack infantry health and infantry defense now total attack here would be more useful because now let's say if we are having 15% total attack from one slot that means 15% infantry attack and 15% of cavalry attack so effectively it's total 30% of attack that we are getting enemy total attack reduction is again up to you then we can have cavalry attack which is way better so i would prioritize cavalry attack over infantry defense now having infantry health is actually variable because if you are having infantry health badges if you are buying the iron bank deals then you don't need to have health in the refinement and that will actually help you to have more useful attributes from the refinement but in case you do not have health badges then you can have little bit of infantry health in the refinement as well and eventually you would have to sacrifice little bit of cavalry attack maybe or total attack or maybe total attack reduction based on the approach you choose also as an option you can have total health and total defense because that would benefit both infantry and cavalry okay so summing up on two troops type accounts so the very first one would be most appropriate i think for most level what it means is that i think as i said earlier that uh, most of the people i believe are using two troop type account and uh, it's most appropriate because even if someone is countering your front line then your second line can help they can swoop in and save you secondly it's not as rigid as one troop type or not as difficult as three troop type which we will discuss in just a few minutes now if we talk about attack then it is distributed but front line has to be tech so what it means is that now we are using two two types so cavalry and infantry we took that example so attack has to be distributed we cannot completely focus on the front lines attack but when we talk about tankiness like health or defense then that stays focused on the front line then it's less vulnerable but more flexible that's what we just discussed that even if our front line is getting countered then second line can help us then total attacks are more effective surely if we have 15% total attack in this scenario it is 15% inf attack and 15% cav attack so that's effective and then it's also good while defending because again if you have good stats let's say if you have 900% infantry attack and 900% cavalry attack and now let's say you have same 6 million troops 2 million in 2 million cav and 2 million spares so definitely your troops will have a better chance to fight off because total 4 million troops would have decent stats to fight off now let's talk about the three troops type so three troop types is basically has two approaches or three different ways of going forward the very first and the direct one is using all the three troop types so here as we can see we have used cabin formation we have got cavalry front line then infantry as second line and spearmen as the third line or back line there's also another approach of playing three troop types where people have all three infantry cavalry and spearmen attack in the refinement but they are not sending all the three troop lines to the battlefield so based on the requirement based on the enemy formation they simply change it as per the necessity we just have their stats in the forms of refinement or badges so that as and when required we can use it okay so when we are talking about three troop types we are going to focus on the approach where people are actually sending all three types of troops in the battlefield so when we talk about the badges i think the best option would be to have total badges that is total attack total health and total defense now these three badges are really amazing if we are playing three troop types but at the same time these are not very cost efficient they are quite expensive so not many people can have them so better option or an alternative would be to use all the three attack badges that is infantry attack cavalry attack and spearman attack and still assuming that we are playing infantry frontline we can use infantry health badge or infantry war badge as well so now having just four slots 
for the badges i would suggest going in with three attack badges that is obviously required and then the fourth one would be the frontline health if we are not going for the health badges then we can have war badges that would give us both attack and defense and we can compensate for the frontline health through the refinement now this brings us to the refinement so what would be the best attributes again starting off with the army size and then since we are using infantry frontline we can have infantry attack infantry health in the refinement only if we are not having infantry health badges in defense would not be a very good choice it would be actually a very bad choice but surely it's an option because we are playing in front and then all the three total attributes would be really amazing and the last two options cav attack and spear attack they would surely be a very good option to have so usually what people are doing so now what people actually are doing is they are kind of mixing two and three troop types so they have inf cav and spear attack in the refinement they also have all the health badges required they also have total attack and total health mostly in the refinement so as and when required based on the enemy formation they are using only two troop types but based on the requirement they are swapping it they are changing their front line as well as the second line and that is kind of a mix of two and three troop types okay so summing it up i believe three troop types account is more suitable for wales mostly because it requires more total badges and balanced stats so that's not really doable for all the people for all the accounts also if you wish to play three troop type accounts then you need to have high stats of all the troops i mean not just from stages or refinement there are many other sources as well such as troop appearances or castle own bonuses and uh, that way if and if you are not having inventory attack for example in the refinement still your inventory entry attack would be higher so that's not very easy to do for anyone secondly it's least vulnerable or let's say not at all vulnerable and very very flexible then total attributes are definitely most efficient and important and lastly it's extremely difficult to pull off because of all the factors just now we discussed like having total badges and all the three type health badges refinement has to be picture perfect with all the three total attributes in there so all right guys just now we saw the differences between 1 2 and 3 troop type accounts i hope this video is helpful have fun take care cheers